फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट सर फॉर्चुनेटली द मोनसून्स हैव टिल नाउ बीन गुड इन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री एज ए रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक जनरेशन हैज इम्प्रूवड कंसिडरेबली एंड दिस कपल्ड विद हायर थर्मल जनरेशन हैज लेड to the improvement in the power availability in the country a number of states which last year had sizable power cuts have removed them completely and amongst these are for example states like punjab and haryana and many members here from punjab and haryana will remember what a difficult time industries in both these states as well as agriculture had last year in both these states this year there are no power cuts tamil nadu has also removed all restrictions just now a few months ago they had 100% restriction in some of their industries i think that would be a better way to manage things whenever shortages occur like this states like up maharashtra and karnataka which last year were faced with great difficulties in the field of power have considerably relaxed these power cuts madhya pradesh has almost removed restrictions imposed earlier in the other states except for andhra pradesh i would say the situation is satisfactory during the current year we propose to add another new capacity and in addition to that we shall continue with our efforts to get more generation from the same installed capacity we have fixed generation targets for each individual station while i have referred to the improved situation i would say with this improvement there will be general satisfaction in the country and at any rate the heavy damage would not be there and it will come down to a comparatively small figure nevertheless i think the need for vigilance continues and we cannot afford to be complacent we have established a monitoring system through which we keep a watch on generation all over the country and i get daily reports of generation from every single unit in the country so that we can keep a close eye on the output of generation in all thermal station in the country and we have asked the state governments to set up similar monitoring units so that action can be taken as and when difficulties arise instead of waiting for a long time to set matters right because that does not really help us at all we have been 
trying to improve the organizational arrangements there is one other aspect to which i would like to refer briefly and that is about the thefts thefts of electric wires thefts of transmission parts and in a few cases thefts of components of transmission towers which lead to a situation where in the first shower of monsoon the whole tower fell and in spite of good generation the power could not reach the consumers either in industry or agriculture or even for the consumers either in industry or agriculture or even for lighting this is a highly anti national activity while the concerned administration has come down hard on these elements whether it is staff whether it is those who sell these things whether it is those who buy them whether it is those who finance them etc today the whole government machinery has come down hard on these elements and along with that i would request the members in whose areas this mal practices have grown to help in getting the public cooperation also to tackle this problem so that quick information can be given i know that in the past a couple of years back when similar thefts of the wire were taking place in the transmission lines of the railways the public corporation helped us very greatly in putting an end to this and the police patrols also helped to a large extent because villagers were patrolling the railway lines and immediately they gave the information and in some cases they apprehended the criminals so i would request you to help us to safeguard these vital installations we ourselves intend to examine whether the law needs any strengthening to take action against such elements my friend referred to strong regional grids as a step towards the evolution of a strong national grid even today the electricity can this is possible because of technological advance all over travel over long distances but some of the links are very weak therefore we are developing the refined grids first and i must say that in the southern region this strengthening of the grid has been done very well and today in the southern region states trade in power very readily goes because the network is there still there is a gap even in the southern region which we are trying to fill but it is essential to have strong regional grids and strong national grids to make optimum and full utilization of the power generated 
now sir my friend referred to line loses and i agree with him that with the growth in generation it is necessary to reduce these losses and to improve transmission this is one of the important factors that has to be kept in mind stop